I started going to the library at a young age, the Wakefield Library. My mother would take us every day after school. And Miss Wilmot was the children's library, and she used to sit us at the fireplace and read books to us. And then when I was around 10, my mother started working for the library. And from there on, we were still going to the library. I started working at this branch January 5th of 2001. It was changing. The library was evolving. There was changes that was going on have allowed us to explore and go out in the communities and partner with different organizations where in the past it was basically just staying in the branch and handling what was going on in the branch. It was nothing outside of the branch. The first thing they say is a beautiful branch. That comes out of everybody's mouth. The second thing is that, oh, you have computers and we can use them, they're free. Yes, they're free. Uh, we offer a lot of programs. We have ESL classes. I'm pushing for more ESL classes during the week. I partner with a lot of organizations who are bringing literacy fairs and kids, and we have over 175,000 people who have come to this branch in the last fiscal year. The main thing in this community is education. Everybody's fighting for education. Everybody's fighting for the kids to be more involved, for the parents to be more involved, for their reading levels to go up, for their math levels to go up. The kids are more into music and we're right now trying to establish a keyboard guitar program. Um, you find a lot of kids into music and technology, but they are learning from a lot of this technology. They like technology, they like music. We need to give them a little bit more of that as well as the education. We have to expand because everything is expanding. Everything is new, technology is new. We offer assistance for job training. A lot of people are unemployed. How do we get on our um, Department of Labor site? Uh, how do we search for something in Google or where are the children's programs? How do we find ESOL class? What other GED classes are offered? We have a young adult literacy program upstairs which is geared for teenagers from the ages of 16 to 24. There's a lot of kids who come here and I'm like, you better go to that GED program. And they go upstairs and they sign up and now they're getting their GED. So we offer a lot and a lot of the patrons ask for a lot. And if they ask and we don't have it, we're trying to get it. You gotta love it. It's either you in it or you're not. So it's either you love it or you don't.